I don't know, I didn't bring any toys with me for this. We left for this set, the first set and we came here. I'm like, I don't have any toys. I could use my fingers, but I'm like, let's use the wrench. <laughs> Diary. Yo, yo, it is your boy Invincible, and you are tuned into another episode of the Gentleman Club Diary AVN uh, Week, or is it Weekend Week? Anyways, uh, we got a girl with a very, very pretty face, and once you see her videos, everyone's gonna want to taste, it, including myself. She goes by the name of Pristine Edge, yeah. right? That's her. That's the name. Don't wear it out. Don't wear it out. Don't wear it out. Cause she, she's a baddie. Um, now, from my understanding, your hobbies, you kind of like, you're a nature girl, right? Yeah. I'm a nature boy like Ric Flair. Woo. Woo. <laughs> okay, so have you ever done it in the nature? Have I done it in the nature? Yeah, like. I'm sure I have at some point. Have like, you? Can I recall it off the top of my head? No. So she hasn't. But I think I have. You have done honest, it in nature? Yes, I have, actually. Where at? I have a dense bed. Um, <laughs> Red Rocks. <laughs> oh, damn, that's nice. You know what I always want? Like, I have a bucket list of, like, doing it, like, at Yosemite. Okay. I think that would be dope. Have you been to Yosemite? No, I haven't, but I know of it. Do you? Oh, man, you got to go to Yosemite. Ooh. Or, like, going up the coast to the California coast is super dope. Were you hidden or did you have a good view? Um, I mean, actual nature view. Yeah, good view. Like, there's there's a lot of good views on that coast. On that okay. one highway, there's so many good views. Yeah. There's a bunch of... Uh, you're looking at me good right now. I like that. I like that. You can keep looking at me because it's making me feel good. Okay, so um, what I want to get into is your name, Pristine Edge, yep. right? So I, I believe that you went as Miss Prez. Is that correct? Oh, wow. You did some homework. Yes. I did do some homework because you know what? You know one thing about you is that you have a very, very pretty face. I got to give it to you. Like, I, I looked Thank at you, some of your work. I was like, damn, this girl has a really pretty face. Thank you. So I was like, I'm a little intimidated, but I'm not intimidated because I, I want to interview you. Um, so how did that name come about? Is, 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 is Miss Prez, how did that come about? And then how did Pristine Edge come about? Okay, so I kind of twist the story every time I tell it because <laughs> it's not really, I don't remember the order it happened. But I mm -hmm. used to own a cleaning company back in the day, and it had the name Pristine in it. Yes. And then um, an ex-boyfriend of mine, we're still good friends, um, we, he was a gamer. And I was not a gamer, but if I wanted some attention, mm. I had a game with him. So, so um, I created a gamer tag, Prissy Pristine. Mm. And then he wanted, so from there, he wanted to try webcamming. And um, I was a little nervous at first, but I was like, okay, fine, we can try it out. So we started webcamming, and I just switched it to Miss Pris. That's Because it's kind of cute. Yeah. And then whenever I went into adult film, this went to Pristine Edge. Nice, yeah. nice. So, are, so was he cool with you doing adult content? Mm, he was cool with it whenever I was with him. When you're with he him, was cool with it, and then we yeah. separated, and I. Oh, okay. Him. So he was the guy you're dating. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So now, now looking back, um, now you're getting into actually adult content. Um, what's something that you can kind of like say? You know what? Um, this. What, what's something you can take from back then to now? What's something you can kind of say, you know what, um, I wish I knew then what I know now? Oh, there's a lot, actually. Um, hmm. There's a lot, but I'm like, trying to pull something forward. I think consistency. I've definitely learned how... Content-wise? Uh, just it, in general, being consistent with everything that you do. Content-wise, staying, um, like continuing working. I've taken mm -hmm. a lot of breaks over the years. I take breaks here and there. Why, why is that, though? Why, why have you taken breaks? I extended my family. So I oh, took a so break you have a family and then you want to... And then so I, I lengthened my family. Um, I think I left my phone, um, your off, phone? On silent, off of silence. Sorry. Oh, hey, your <laughs> boyfriend, dinging, your boyfriend is calling. Tell him you're busy right now. I don't you have a boyfriend, but I... Was, you don't sorry. have no boyfriend? You're single? <laughs> yes. Okay, damn. What, what about going on a date right now? Right now. Where, where would you take <laughs> me on a... this? We're going to go on a date. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> where, where would you take me on a date? I, I'm wondering. Where would I take you? At first, I'd take you to Firefly Top. That's because it's my favorite place. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what kind of food is this? What? It's... Everything they have like, they have flan for for dessert, which is my favorite. Oh like, damn! I choose it, and I get kebab for my main entree. We just jumped subjects here, and then I know, right? We just you know why? Because I was thinking like you you're a porn star slash stripper, and strippers are used to getting everything they want. But what would you do for for your mate? What would you do for? Yeah. Well, I would. What do you mean? Like, what would you do? like? You guys are used to getting everything you guys want, but oh. what would you do for somebody you're dating? Oh, well, whenever I date people, I tend to do everything for them, like 
acts of service is my type uh-huh. of love language, and so I don't know. I do a lot, actually. I like to spoil them. You're a pleaser? Do, yes. Oh, big time. Are you? Yeah, like mm, sexually, grat- sexually gratified all the sexually way. Sexually pleaser? All the way, yes, oh, damn. obviously. <laughs> God damn, you're making me shy right now. I, 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 you know what? I haven't been shy in a while. You're making me kind of shy right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I just go above and beyond for the white date. <laughs> no, no, I did hear that you do like a shy guy, right? How do you hear that? I just, I assume, or, oh, or maybe I did a little where research. Did you hear this? Fact? I did. Is that true or am I? It uh, is. Yeah. Yes. And you don't. Okay, tell me if this is interesting for you because I consider myself sort of a pleasure delayer. Where I would try, to, like, like say I wanted to be intimate with you, I might try to delay that. Like, I want to do a lot of foreplay. I want to do, a, like, I want to get really into it before I actually. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, that's important. The foreplay, I think, is just as important as the sex, if not more, because that's what revs you up. That's what gets you there. Like, it gets, gets you, you there, want, huh? You crave it more. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know what, I would tell like, like one time I had, I was dating this girl. She wasn't big on like kissing and all that. And I said, you know what? Let's let's fucking like I want that foreplay. I want that kissing, and because if you're a good kisser, it just it takes it up a notch. I want that like what is that? Is that what do you call that tongue action? French kissing. I guess I don't know. Tongue action, sure. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So are, I don't know if you're looking for a technical term. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> so do, what do you, what are your thoughts on the whole foreplay action before getting busy? Mm, there's so I want to say something, but I can't say it. Say it, say it, say it. No, 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 no. We got to say it. We got to be blunt, honest. No, because somebody steal my idea. I actually reserved a URL for something. Oh, you did? Oh, you did? Because foreplay is so important to me that I reserved a URL oh, to create content that involves more foreplay because oh, I think it's that important. It is important. Huh? Yeah, you're reading my mind. Yeah. But I never said that to anybody else, so oh. you heard it here first. Do, do you <laughs> think us men are not intact with like women like we don't understand that women want that foreplay i don't know i think that y'all can get horny and you want to jump into it but you know the girl may not be on the same page so like warm her up get her there and you know honestly sometimes if a guy does it right i'm craving i'm wanting it like more like Mm -hmm. cut the foreplay let's dive into it but the longer it's prolonged it makes you hornier huh oh shit so is it easy to make you come uh mm, it's easy no. for me to make myself That's come. A girl on top, and I get it. Yeah. Sometimes missionary. Missionary makes you come. Mostly girl on top, because oh. I can control it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so so what about kissing? I heard you like kissing. I do like kissing. You like kissing? Yeah. Are you a good kisser? I think so. Like a really good kisser? I think so. Yeah. Dang, I'm, biased. I'm biased. <laughs> hey, I'm biased. Hey, she don't make me kiss her again. Ah, oh, listen nah. to you. No, 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 no. I I think kissing is very important though, in in actually. Um, what would you call it? Like hooking up or whatever? I think like if somebody doesn't kiss good, it's like, ah, uh, you know what I mean? But if somebody kisses good, it's like, okay, she's, she's really dope. Oh, shit. See, I'm getting nervous right here. You're making me nervous. Um, but so what, what's kissing, I mean, as, as far as being intimate, is that, a, uh, is that a mandatory that somebody got to be able to kiss you right? No, no, it doesn't. It's not a make or break. When I was like researching you, I was like, okay, she has a very, very pretty face. And I did see you kind of had like this entrepreneur type of um, background in a way, right? Yeah. So are you like kind of business savvy with other things besides porn or what, what do you kind of got going on right now? Well, I think that my, my, my biggest strength is marketing. I'll say that much. So You're a marketing person. Um, yes. And I do have some outside of the industry things that I'm doing, but I don't like to talk about it because I don't want somebody... I don't want somebody to ruin that for me. You okay. Know? Oh, let me ask you that. I'm very silent so, about a lot of it. So I heard this. Like some people say, the idea is more powerful in your mind. Like not to really spit it out to somebody because yeah. that can attract like maybe somebody. It's not intentionally, but some people might have a negative. Uh, what would you call it? Not, not an evil eye, but kind of like a negative uh, yeah. outcome on your thoughts. They will. They can talk you out of it if there's jealousy, or they just even if they they may not see the vision that you have mm-hmm. for a business that you want to start. For yeah, example, yeah. they may not see the vision that you see, and so they'll say something along like, "Oh, that's not a good idea." Do you think that that's going to make a profit? Because they're not seeing what you see, where you think it's going to go, and so that can have a negative in- outcome because if they. If somebody were to tell you, oh, I don't like that idea, that's not going to make money, well, now your brain is thinking, oh, no, maybe go- they're right. Yeah, it goes into a whole different, you know, you're right. So mm-hmm. so I think it's better to keep your thoughts sometimes in your own mind. Yeah, keep it to yourself. It's more powerful in that. 
So you're kind of like, a, what would you call it? Was that, is that like the law of attraction thing? Or what, what is that? Kind of, what, what is that? Is that manifest manifesting? I don't, I don't know. know. What I don't the know. hell that is? Manifestation. I don't know. You be manifesting stuff? Or what, what is it? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about all that. I think that if you really want something, you can make it happen by phone again. Sorry, guys. All right. So I know you're, you're, you're into the dancing realm. and you. So did you start dancing before you got into porn? Or what was that? Yes. A, a lot earlier, actually. Yeah. Like, yeah. I went by a few different names. Tony, Alex. Damn, damn. I don't even, there's so many different names. So if I, what club was, what did you say, Tony? I went by Tony at one point. Tony? and I, that was my original oh, name. Shit, so if I was to go back to that club and say, hey, you remember that girl, Tony? Mm -hmm. How was she? And they'd be like, wow, she was wild. She used to give it up in the back room, giving extras. They'd be, woo, woo, woo. I'd be like, I don't want to know all that. <laughs> now, how were you as a dancer, though? Like, Oh, you know, I actually walk the straight and narrow as a dancer. Other than, like, having a drink so you, at the club, I was a pretty straight and narrow one. I just followed the rules. So you were a nerd. A nerd? Yeah. Was I a nerd? Yeah. What kind of person were you so, growing up? Were you a nerd? Probably, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I grew yeah. up a nerd. I grew up very religious, actually. So oh, religious? Why I walked the straight oh, and narrow. Okay, what, what religion? A uh, Mormon. You're a Mormon? I was. I was a Mormon, too. <gasps> what? Yeah. Get out of town. Yeah, and then I became a Jehovah Witness, then a Buddhist. And then now I'm just nothing. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a progression, I think. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. No, no. So, so what are you now? What are you now? I mean, uh, like, what are my beliefs now? Yeah, what are your beliefs? Uh, I'm probably atheist. Atheist. Yeah, I don't really have any specific. Yeah, yeah I, I get a little, little. Um, what do you call that? Like people kind of look at me because uh, what I believe, but I respect everybody's beliefs. But I have my own beliefs as far as what I believe in. Yeah. Um, but I respect, Healthy. yeah, I believe, well, whatever you want to do. And, and you know what? I think, like, even doing this type of content as far as interviewing porn stars, strippers, whatever, um, people might say, oh, you, well, you're, you're, um, you're interviewing a, a very dark realm. And I say, you know what? I think all of, all of us human beings in general, um, we're all kind of animals and we kind of, um, we're all perverts. <laughs> Would you agree with that? If you want to put it bluntly, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, we all have a desire. I worked in a strip club, and I was I was running a strip club, and I, I came across you know pastors, I came across dentists, your doctors, um, I came across all walks of life, and some of these guys were you know slipping the girls cocaine. Some of these guys wanted to have wanted to pay for sex for some of these girls. So I witnessed all walks of life. So I'm like, who's in the wrong? Is it the other girls in the wrong? Are the guys in the wrong? And I just kind of realized that. When, um, if there was no curtains, like if everybody could see who we really were, like we're just kind of animals. Yeah. Would you, would you agree with that? I can agree with that, yeah. 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 So that's kind of my thoughts on it. I don't, I don't try to judge women, you know, girls that do dancing or anything. I actually, if anything, I want to mentor them. I want to help them, uh, I guess, elevate to the next level. I guess that's, that's yeah. what it's called. Yeah. Yeah. So. If that's what they're wanting, yeah, of course. Yeah. Do you feel like you being a dancer? Do you feel? Do you, did you get more like kind of uh, more hate on you being a dancer compared to you being an actual porn star, or what's kind of the? Um, I don't. I, you know, I think that being a porn star, I own it a lot more. As a dancer, I felt shame because you know, yeah. even being in that. But once you kind of start stepping up, you just don't care. You don't give like, a shit what, no more. You don't care what they think. So I. I was a dancer at this club in St. Louis, and this is actually right as I stepped into the adult film industry. And the girls were cool with me until, they, until I started doing adult film. Mm. And then it became an issue. They started making, oh, she's doing this in the back, she's doing this in the back. Making Giving extras up. in the back. Yes, and I never did that. I never did it. Because I didn't, I've never gotten in trouble with the law, mm -hmm. and I didn't intend on starting then or even now. So um, I never did any of that. Um, however, another girl who, who, another girl was at the club too. Whenever I started doing adult, she just started right after me, um, and she won Female Performer of the Year last year. Oh damn! Yes, and yeah. even like even she kind of. So we're gonna me. we're gonna Google her. We're gonna yeah. Google. Now, are you on good terms with her? Oh, or? I love her. I just don't. Oh. Want, I don't know if I can say her name or not. Oh, you can say her name. I mean, if you're on bad terms, I would probably still guess her. But no, I mean, if you're well, on it was Kira Noir, and she started at Hustlers with me. Oh, okay, we cool, cool. At Hustlers in St. Louis, and then from yeah. there we just. Kind of hit it yeah. Yeah, I see like there's a strong connection between strippers and porn stars. Yeah? In, in what way? Um, I notice a lot of girls that get into porn, they were once strippers. Oh. And then they become porn stars. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, if it's like strippers are kind of, it's like a stepping stone. Is that what it is? Like, I guess so. They yeah. become porn stars or what it is. So, I mean, who convinced you to become a porn girl? Well, I, I, 
the one boyfriend who talked me into doing webcam with him. That was kind of the foot in the door. I was so nervous. I never. I was like, I can never do that. That's so embarrassing. Like nobody can watch yeah. me masturbate. And it wasn't because I thought that it was wrong. I was just like, oh my god, people can't watch me with yeah. my O face and such, like convulsing while I'm orgasming. Um, but I did it with him, and that put me at ease in front of the camera. And then a recruit reached out to me and asked if I wanted to, I don't know, do some adult videos. And really? I'm like, why not? Why not? Uh so you started doing masturbation videos and then you went into well no that was my vision I guess of webcam whenever I said that but mm. I started out doing boy girl with him oh boy girl yeah so what uh, so now you're still currently shooting porn right mm -hmm. yes what type of porn do you enjoy doing whatever I'm booked for honestly I like it all I, I can't pick one favorite no so. I like girl, girl. I like guy, girl. I like. Well, what's better as far as a uh, what is it arousing uh, and rouse, um What's something more fulfilling as far as getting an orgasm? Is it better with girls or is it better with guys? Oh, if, uh, to get an orgasm solo, I like doing that on camera because solo. Yes, I mean I can reach it whichever way. But mm -hmm. if you're asking about pleasure, that's the easiest way for me. I can come a thousand times. Solo. Yes. Damn, you know what? Okay, it's weird. Like us dudes, like me personally, yeah. I jack off like and I bust a nut like within. Yeah. Fucking fast. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Cause I know you know it is. Hey, it's. Cause you know what you like. Yeah, I know what I like. Exactly. Yeah. So it's the easiest is that way, but I can. I mean, girls have gotten me there. Guys have gotten me there. And, so you know, what gets you there? What gets what gets you to that orgasm? Um, external stimulation. External yeah. stimulation. Yep. You know, some girls like like they like they they might like their clit, fucking fucked with, and, and some I like girls pressure on it. I like pressure, pressure on your clit. The whole outside part. The whole outside. Oh, love it. Well, I want to know how, because that, that's my thing. Like, I want, like, my thing, I think I get pleasure into knowing how to pleasure a woman. Yeah. Like, that's my pleasure. That's like, I don't even need to come. I want to know how to make you come. Okay. So whether it's fucking playing with your clit or licking your clit, whether it's banging you, I don't know. But I'm going to try to 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 make you come. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's cool. So what about squirting? Are you a squirter? Yes, I am. You're squirting? I am, yes. God damn, you yeah, are? Yeah. How come I didn't see no videos where you squirting? Well, you haven't looked deep enough. Necessary. I need to look deeper. <laughs> God damn, is there a video like I could research right now where you're squirting? I just look up Chris United squirts, I guess, right? Yeah. I'm I do it quite often, actually. If I can incorporate, if I feel like I can do it and I can incorporate it in a scene, I'll do it. You would? Yeah. I think that's sexy, though. Like, if you were squirting all over me, like, yeah. I'd be like, ah, this, this is awesome. Right? Shower in it. <laughs> I think that's dope, right? It, yeah. Tell me that ain't dope. Like, yeah. Okay, what about like a man coming on you? Is that is that a turn on or not really? Yeah, I like it on my tits the most because, I mean, I got them, you know, You got some big-ass titties. Got Thank them. you. I'm a great yeah. doctor. I'm a great doctor. Dr. Rotler in St. Yeah. Louis. So where are you... paid advertisement. Yeah? Oh, see? <laughs> yeah, you got to give you some money. So where are you residing in now? Like, where are you staying at? Uh, oh, residing here in yeah. Vegas. Yeah. yeah? Oh, you're in Vegas? Yeah. So you don't come to California or nothing like that? You just kind of Oh, stay. I go to California often. Yeah. yeah. But I stay here. Yeah. So you enjoy your living here rather than any other place? Yep. Yeah? Okay. No well. reason why. I just It just kind of fell that way. The car just kind of fell that way, and here I am. Okay. And then I know you're into future dancing. Now, I kind of want to get into the stripping because, like, me managing the club, I want to know about, um, like, maybe what your experience were uh, uh, as far as, like, an audition. Do you, did you ever audition to be a stripper? I did at Hustlers. It's the only audition I ever did. Oh, wait, no, that's a lie. Palomino as well here in Vegas. Okay, so what what was that experience like being as far as auditioning? Auditioning? I um, Well, we'll start with Hustlers. They do like a Hustler, honey, something. I, what is it where you have to, it's a bunch of girls and you're auditioning and the winner gets $500. Like an amateur night or something? Something like that. Yeah. And you have to show up for that. To, that's your audition. So that's what you came to? Yes, yes. And I was there. It was an all-night event. I was like, is this almost over? I'm so, so tired. I just want to get a job. I don't need yeah. to do the whole night. Um, but yeah, I ended up winning first place and I got Oh, you won? Yeah. How did you win? Like, do you, like, from... I was really good on the pole back then. And also, I, and my strategy whenever I dance is I engage the, the stage comers, like the people who come up to the stage. And I always am with them. They're more important than the pole is. Mm. You know, I can do a few tricks and then get down, do a few tricks and go over here, crawl over here, and then that's where all the money is at. Like, it's okay. down on the floor, not on the pole. Not on the pole. So what's... Yeah. Say I was new coming to the strip club, what's a recommended uh, maybe amount of money that I shall tip while you're dancing on the... What's a recommended tip suggestion while I you're dancing? Know. I don't even know because I 
can get more now. Back in the day, I was like $2. People were like $2. $2? No, I'm saying back in the day, that's what it was. I worked day shift. Though, yeah. Oh, day shift is different. And okay. the day shift, it's, it was more more dances. More and dances. Was, older, uh, VIP. Oh, yeah, more older, VIP calmer dances. Older, crowd. And I made a lot during the day. But it was the dance, the stage dances weren't anything. That's when you market yourself mm -hmm. and you're making eye contact. Yeah. And you're, hey, do you want to dance after this? Uh, that's when you're doing all that. Okay, yeah. well, well, honestly, um, what do you, if a guy was coming to a strip club for the first time, how much money should they bring to the strip club? Hmm, for them to have a good time, I don't know, maybe 2500 2500 2500 God damn, so you look at, check this out, you need 2500 before you come to a strip club, right? You don't need it, you said a good recommended, that's, you're going to buy dances from other girls, you're going to be buying drinks, you're going to be tipping on the stage, that's, yeah. a, that's All right, a, so a if you're a brokey, right? Well, if they don't have, say they have 500, what okay. do you consider that? 500 is a good time. 500 will probably get you through <laughs> two and a half hours, maybe, if, if, you're, uh, yeah. if you're playing it smooth and careful. Smooth. Okay, and then I also heard that you're into... You, that's no VIP, though. You know, no that's, you're not getting a VIP with that. Ah, you know, you're you're just there to drink and tip some girls and maybe get some money. Okay, so if you don't have 2500 you are not getting a dance for Pristine. What? You'll still get some dances, but you'll get dances with other girls, too. Other girls. Yeah. Like, maybe she's a 10, so you might get a dance from a 4 <laughs> or a 3. We're all partying yeah, together. Yeah, you might get lucky and get a 7, but it not might not happen. <laughs> I think a, a good club is where the girls get along, because mm. when the girls are getting along and they all party together, then the guys are part of that. Do you oh, see what I'm saying? yeah, yeah, The guys yeah. might be secondary, but they're coming into a group of friendly girls that are going to provide a good time for everybody. Mm. It's not catty and solo and individualistic. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so so I, I believe that I, I, I read something that you enjoy as far as a hobby, quilting. Yes. So for those that don't know, I have holes in my socks right now, and she's going <laughs> to fix them. <laughs> Right, you're gonna fix my yeah, that's, son. That's a quick she's stitch. a she's a quilting she's a quilting uh, genius, right? Or, or expert, your expertise are quilting, right? Yes, yes. So what do you, what do you make with the with the whole quilting? Well, stuff? quilting is fabric pat, patched together mm -hmm. to make a beautiful blanket. But my quilting. socks need they got holes in them right so that's now. That's a seams. You're wanting a seamstress, <laughs> which I know how to do. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but so what would you do to my socks right now? Oh, I well, I'm in socks. I'd give them an ugly stitch, is what I would do. Uh -huh. <laughs> I would just stitch them up. But yeah, I make yeah. some pretty quilts. Yeah, okay. I haven't sold any because I tend to give them to my family, and I have a huge family. Oh damn! So all the like all the little ones are all getting quilts, and so you got a huge family. Oh, massive! So she's like a Mexican, but <laughs> like like she's almost like Mexican. You got a a big family. All right, all right, got it. <laughs> now um, us Mexicans, we got a big ass family. Like shit, I got ten kids right now. My mom got seven kids. You have ten kids. I got ten kids. Where what? He got eight kids. <laughs> <laughs> He's half Mexican. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I love it. <laughs> I'm just playing. We all you. have big families. <laughs> no, no we, we do. But, um, okay, so uh, I want to get back into the dancing thing. Um, so what, what recommendations would you give to, uh, uh, like, a, say, a newer dancer that's trying to get into dancing? Um, me, as a manager, I know what the recommendations would be for as far as auditions. But um, what would you give, like, how should somebody come prepared as far as uh, audition? An audi uh, a newcomer a new for comer, an audition. Yeah, for an audition. Um, oh, I don't know. Like, how I, did you come as as when you first came? Did you come dressed up? How, how did you come? Did you come kind of sloppy? Was remember. it? Did you rely on? I mean, your... the very first day that I ever stepped into an audition. So the whole that day, that whole day was an audition. Mm -hmm. and, but I had an older. I had a friend who was a dancer before me who really just kind of helped me. Oh, you know, get you kind of smooth. She, here's some clothes. Wear this today. This guy's great, and she really walked me through. So I very I lucked out. Mm. I didn't have to do it on my own. And also the guys that were there knew I was new. So everybody kind of was like. Walking yeah. Through. So I can't. I don't know what to tell a new girl because I don't have that experience, unfortunately, because I was walked through it. Okay. For the dancers that want to audition, there's no advice. The only advice I could give you as a manager just is find a mentor. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just come prepared. Come dress nice. That's all I can say. Yeah. All right. I also heard that you uh, got somebody off. I don't know if you got somebody off, but you also use uh, a wrench. For a masturbation too? Is that true? <laughs> yes, I did. Well, what is that story? I, yeah, I'll tell you that story. Yeah, okay, yeah. so I was out in Arizona doing this solo shoot. It was a girl director, and oh, we had so many. It might have been like eight solos that day. It was unbelievable how many we had to do. It was exhausting, honestly. And she's like, I know this cool place that we can go. This guy is really cool. He'll let us use his shop. It's really neat, and it's kind of secluded. Mm -hmm. Cool. And it's like, I don't even, it, is it a junkyard? I don't know. 
but it was really neat with like old cars and it was. So he's a mechanic. Yeah, but it was a really cool place. It, it's okay. not trashy. I mean, it sounds trashy, but it was really cool. Yeah, it does sound trashy. So anyway, we go back and um, I don't know. I didn't bring any toys with me for this. We left for the set, the first set, and we came here. I'm like, I don't have any toys. I could use my fingers, but I'm like, let's use the wrench. <laughs> Why Dang. not? So we cleaned it up really good and put some alcohol on it and cleaned it really good, and that's what I used. So you use a wrench. <laughs> You're a freak, huh? <laughs> why do you look so innocent, though? Like, why do you look so, like, not, you're not a freak? That's the trope, right? That's yeah. The, that's the so idea. do you have, like, fetishes or anything like that? Hmm, I'm trying to think. I do, in a sense, I like having sex with, like, my panties pulled to the side. Oh, or, so like, leave your panties on. Or, like, a box or, like, leave the boxes on but pull the cock out. Oh. Yeah, I like that. You do? I don't know why I, don't know why I like that. I d well, I'm not wearing, I, I wear, like, what is the briefs now? Like, we don't wear the boxer no more. Oh, but there's still a hole, right, for your penis to go through? Nah, it's just more You're brief. I don't know, baby, you got to, like, it's, you you messing with some guys in the 80s, baby. Well, it's not, it's not I wouldn't nah. say it's a kink, it's just, I think it's hot. And maybe there's a few other, I don't know. No, you know what, I do like my girls, like, if they have their panties on while I'm hitting it, that's yeah, sexy. It is. G-string, G-string, you wear G-string? I wear anything, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. as long as they're not big old parachute underwear, we're good, baby. <laughs> or if you are wearing parachutes, I'll just take them off. Okay. All right. We're good All right. to go. We're good. We're good. Go. <laughs> All right. Um, so I know these guys are trying to wrap me up, but I'm in, in I'm enjoying your conversation because I'm like, I feel like I'm kind of getting to know you a little yeah. better here. Um, all right. As a dancer, right, do you have any awkward or weird moments that have happened as maybe you're giving a dance or just maybe you might have saw something that was a little odd. Mm -mm, no, but I'll tell you anything that we talked about beforehand that sometimes whenever I, well, it, back in the day it was very easy because I was younger and so mm -hmm. my, my sex drive was like way high. It's not high no more? I mean, it's still there, but like I get sex all the time now. So oh, you do? Yeah. When's the last time you had sex? I'm in adult film. That don't matter. <laughs> When's the last time you had it? Just a few days ago, actually. Oh, well, it's been yeah. like a week for me. I'm sorry to hear that. I haven't even used my hand. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should use my hand more often. Got some willpower there. Rosy palms. That's where they go. Okay, okay. So, but, back to this. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, back in the day, uh -huh. I could give a dance. And I, sometimes, if I liked the guy at the club, if uh -huh. I liked him, I would make it known. But if he was an asshole and he, I'm just giving him a lap dance because he was paying me for it, yeah. I didn't tell him. But I could come giving it a lap dance. And I could do oh, it Oh, that's what we're talking about, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you used to come giving a lap dance? I could just dry hump the guy and get off fast, too. Not like it doesn't didn't take the whole song. It would be like 30 seconds into it. And I'm like, oh, in heaven. And so, and sometimes if I liked the guy, I would make it known. And he'd oh, want more dances yeah. because of it. Oh, so you're yeah. slick. You're a smooth operator. Yeah. So now, you, how would you do that? Because I'm just wondering. You would, like, caress your punani on his ah! dingling? Well I, well, I told you that earlier when you said, how do you like to get off? I like pressure. And so I'm pushing myself into like a lap dance. You know what oh, I mean? to his dingling. Not, I, I could hump a leg. I didn't care. Oh, oh <laughs> just as long as there's something stiff. If there was something pushing up against, okay. I could. And so, yeah. So you used to get off to lap dances. I could have dry humped the guy's wallet and gotten off, honestly. Dang. <laughs> See, I never knew that. You know why? Because I've asked this question before with girls like, hey, do you ever get off or get horny while you're doing a lap dance? They say no. Oh, well, they weren't. I felt it, though. I was into it. I loved I loved my job. Oh, yeah? Mm. You love your job, huh? Okay, so. You tell your clubs to book me. Okay, so when I see you at a strip club, what do I expect? What kind of music are you bumping? Are you doing, what kind of dance are you doing? Because last, the other girl that I she invited me to strip club, and she was doing the robot, and I said, baby, come on. That's like a move that I used to do back in the day. I like that, though. That's creative. Okay. You do that, too? No, but now I want I to. I want to see that, baby. Now I, next time I see you, I'll be up on <laughs> All right, so what, what, so what do I expect to see you when you're dancing? Usually, you know, I've just changed my set list. But before, I would start off with, like, some down with the sickness. Oh, down with the sickness. And then go into mm -hmm. Forsaken. Do you know okay. that one? Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah shit, man. Yeah. God damn, anyway, yeah. and then the third one, I'm always like, tell a DJ just pick something because I don't know. Like, so the first and second it. song are your choice. The third song is the DJ's. Yes, so, yes. And so I'll just tell them pick a third one that you think goes with that one. But now I'm trying. I'm going to change it tonight. And but, I mean, the viewers aren't going to be there tonight because you're not going to put, put this out tonight. But um, tonight I'm going to do Wet by Snape Dogg. Oh. Do you know that one? Hold on, hold on. What is it? I just want to make you wet. 
Oh, yeah. dang. Pussy, pussy, leak game. Dang. Yeah. So okay. that's the first one. Right. And the second one is, oh, shoot, what is it? Um, yeah, oh, yeah. Rack City, because I'm taking my oh, top rack, off. Rack, rack, rack. Oh, rack oh you got Rack. Yeah, you got Rack. Mm, God yeah. damn, baby. So Rack yeah. City. And I'm then the, motorboat you right the now. third one is Lally Lally. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, that's a good set. That's, yeah. I, I like that. I like it's that. It's a fun one. Okay, Sad Fires tonight. Yes, right? sir. All right. And, um, Okay, well, I, I might go. I don't know. I'm going to check out the AVNs. Well, did, I am drinking, so depending on how sober I am at the end of the night. I won't the, hold you to it. How about if that? If you get me drunk, that's the perfect time because I might throw some money at you. All right? <laughs> I might throw some money. Just get me drunk, <laughs> I'll throw some money at you. Um, okay, before I wrap it up, um, what do you got to say about the people that do not tip uh, while you're dancing on the stage? That's okay. I... I walk away. I just, you know, I'll, give them, I'll still give them a little show and still mm -hmm. a professional and then just move on to the next person. They just get a little bit shorter of a time frame, you know. If they're not putting money up there, they got to see something and I just move on. You got a good fucking attitude, you know Thank that? you. Thank you. Yeah, god damn. Yeah. You, you single? <laughs> yeah, we talked about that. <laughs> no, no, like you single, single. I'm single, single. A lot single. of girls are like, they got dudes on the side, the side, side. No, I'm single, single. Okay, I'm about to get your number right now. But ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned because I'm about to get her number. Oh, we're going to go on a date and I'm going to document it and we're going to see how the date goes. <laughs> Sapphire, so now I'm just like, all right. Well, um, I want to thank you for taking the time. You want to give any shout outs to anybody? Um, shout out to my PR for making today happen. She made it happen, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh. And then. My agencies for booking me, Lee Network for booking me at all the different oh. clubs. Yeah. Are you gonna be on the floor tonight? Um, I just got off the floor. I oh, you just did? How the fuck did I miss that shit? I'm I left sure. the floor to come here, but I might go back out because I still have some Sapphire flyers I need to get passed out. Okay, well, I'm I a, want a crowd tonight. I'm gonna be out there. We're gonna be doing a stanky leg when we go out there and we're doing our thing. So nice. I'll see you when we get out there. Yeah, cool, cool. All, all right. right. So any shout outs? Any? No, I just did. Shout no, out. no, I mean like other shout outs, not just to, just your PR, like shout outs no, to me, he, you know, make me feel she, special. I did say you, I said okay. to you guys. Oh, did you? Uh, yes. you? You said you guys. Rewind no, not, this. And not invincible. <laughs> Rewind this. All right, well, we're going to do a shout out, I guess so, to Sapphires Las Vegas for booking me for tonight, and then to this big headed guy right here <laughs> 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 for making tonight happen. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, any disses? You want to diss anybody? No. Nobody you had a bad encounter with? Dancing wise, are in the porn industry? No. No. Okay. Well, no disses. I want to diss though. Uh, what I want to diss is the guy when I was coming up here. He was trying to be like, man, you don't, you don't have this, you don't have that. And then the guy trying to get my passes. That dude made me. Man, but he did give me a free drink. So shout out to him. All right. Diss <laughs> a man. Shout out. <laughs> All right. And with that, with that, I uh, want to thank everybody for tuning in. Um, and I want to thank you for stopping by. I'm going to see dope, and I definitely want to see how good you are on that post. Yay, cool. Yeah, yeah and it is, it is your boy Invincible, and thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned for another episode of the Gentleman Club Diary, and we are up and out. Gentleman Club Diary.